So you finished your very long myofunctional therapy self-assessment, and now you want to know what to do with it. You'll notice that the form is color-coded. Each color corresponds to a specific healthcare provider within the airway health realm. Up top is red, red indicating very important. It's red because oral posture falls into the interests of all airway healthcare providers. Typically, their goal is to help you restore nasal breathing and help you restore tongue to palate uh, habitual posture. Below the red, you'll see blue, which is going to correspond and fall under myofunctional therapy or oral motor therapy. And then you'll see orange, which is ENT or otolaryngologist. Green is going to be airway dentistry, airway orthodontics, potentially an oral surgeon. Pink is going to be speech pathology and purple is going to be physical therapy or a specially trained myofunctional therapist. Now I put each test under a specific category, but know that there's a lot of blurred lines in terms of multiple professions are going to be testing these tests and multiple providers in some cases can actually intervene on, in improving these tests. So this is a general categorization. There's not a hard black and white for a lot of these. So you're looking at this and you're realizing that you have many abnormalities or issues coming up in various colors, right? So it's kind of scattered across the assessment. You're falling under multiple providers. In this case, especially if you have dentistry and oral motor or myofunctional therapy uh, abnormalities, I, I would suggest starting there. So start by reaching out to a myofunctional therapist and or an airway dentist. I cannot speak for the individual, but as a whole, professionally, these two professions are going to be able to provide an in-depth oral motor assessment and dental occlusion assessment to help direct you on where to start first if you have multiple issues falling under various categories. So again, myofunctional therapist and or airway dentist to start. On the other hand, if you're noticing most of the abnormalities that you found on your assessment fall under one color or primarily under one color, let's say orange for ENT. It may be helpful to go directly to an ENT with one thing in mind. Do ask that provider who they work with in terms of their airway team. So you want to make sure that if you're going to this ENT, that they have a plan B if they exhaust their skill set in terms of trying to help you meet your goals. You want to make sure that they can see the big picture and they know who to send you to if they are not the person that's going to be able to help you. So always ask who is their team, who they work with, uh, and if they're located in the area so you know what to expect if you have to uh, potentially transfer care to someone else. Now, all of this is general advice. I don't know your specific case. So if you have specific questions or you're still really confused on what to do with this information that may or may not have been concerning to you, uh, please write it in the comment section below. Find me at summerspt.com or reach out to your local myofunctional therapist so that they can better help you personalize your, your route to treatment and to reaching your goals.